Hi guys, it's Rizzo from Catspace and this week's video blog is about Magnetic Mates. So Magnetic Mate is a new uh, tool that has been introduced in 2017 to make um, your job a bit easier when you want to mate a lot of parts with one main part like this. So I've got a drawer body here and I want to just create some drawers for this um, and I want to avoid using the traditional mates. So let's just go and create a new part which is our draws. So I quickly create my draws so I'll just create a rectangular 2D sketch to define the geometry of my draw. So I measured these dimensions that I'm putting in from the assembly of the draw body. And I begin to extrude this one by 240 height. So as you can see that's all done. So I can use a shell command to actually shell out the top part and this is going to give me a shape or the command or the part exactly like my draw. So the next step would be defining those magnetic mates, right? So I just go back and turn back to the back side of my draw and create the sketch. The main reason for creating that sketch is actually I need to tell the software where I need to put those magnetic um, mate points. So I just create a line from a center of these side lines, turn this to construction and then create a point exactly in the middle of this line as a reference. So I exit this sketch, so as you can see, here is my um, sketch. So I go to Tools, Asset Publisher, which is the main function for my uh, magnetic mates. So this is where I can define my magnetic mates references. The ground plane, I ground uh, the bottom face of this draw. This is the important part, which is the connector. So I want to say, just choose this point as my connector and this face as the mate face. So if I click on add connector, you can see that this uh, actually arrow is actually showing the direction of this point being mated. So if I hit OK and accept that, I now save this part as a test draw, which I had before, so I just overwrite that one. So let's just create a new assembly with a uh, parts that I have already. So I just bring the drawer body begin my assembly with. Now I want to insert the components which is that test draw. So as soon as I click it and bring it in you see all those purple points or sphere are appearing. As I get closer to these points together you can see there is a link created between them. So if I click once it just easily and nicely drags into the position. So if you don't like this sketch as a reference point you can definitely go in there and then right click on this sketch and then hide this from the test draw. The easy thing about this magnetic mates is actually you can hold your control key and copy this as easy as that and if you just detach and get closer to the other points as you can see it will choose the closest point in here so the same case goes for the other one and so on you can actually choose the rest of your design as here if I make a mistake here I can definitely detach it without grabbing any keys or anything and do that again for the other parts or even if I can actually bring it up a bit to make this and if you noticed again, you just saw that it, these magnetic mates that I made are all disappearing because I already mated them, so they're all gone. So what if I actually bring something in there and it actually mates and magnetic mates this one, but this doesn't fit. So that's not a problem. I can open this again while keeping everything as a reference and publish reference. I can create a new configuration by copying this and pasting this. And I just rename this to a larger and rename the other one to smaller. So if I go to larger and I just need to configure this dimension. So if I want to click or double click on that one, I need to change the, this configuration's dimension to 380, which is the correct answer for my height of the new body. So let's just switch between the configuration. This is the smaller, this is the larger that looks good so let's go back to our assembly now so if you have noticed that we have to double check the larger one which has got the same sketch the public publish reference and everything so if I double check that you definitely see that my um, magnetic mates references are all intact it is going to be exactly in the center of these two lines so let me go back to my main assembly here and if I click in there this drop down is telling me the configuration easily click on the larger this will fit exactly to the model same as before I can copy and paste this guy to the next magnetic mates 
and that's going to give me the result I want. So this magnetic mace are the easiest way of mating your parts and this is a very new feature to take advantage of in SOLIDWORKS 2017.